How's color balance?
Joining me now will be Daniel Rich as we once again figured out those technical difficulties. Monarchs up 32-26 with six minutes left to go in the third quarter. Daniel. Hello everybody, sorry about these technical difficulties, but we hopefully haven't figured out some equipment malfunctions, but it's all part of the fun, I guess. What can I say? <laughs> Getting back to that action after the timeout. Miller North will have the ball. Rebounding the ball for Miller North, number 12. Laura Worley, she, she's one of the five freshmen of Miller North's varsity squad. The young team is held in there, only down by six. Right now. Kind of a wild pass there, but they recover. Miller North works the ball around. Great defense being played by the Monarchs here early on in the third quarter. Nice shot, shot by Priscilla down. Great shot there as number 13, Holly Hild, puts that one in as she fades away, and Willett will bring it up. Full court pressure, Oswald. A wide open Ashley Nelson for a three, and she'll, she's no good. Worley brings it back up. The Monarchs have played excellent defense in the late second quarter here in the third quarter as well. Thinking about a three-pointer there, but decides not to, and a wild pass there just right over her head. Recovered by Kayla. Finds Ashley Nelson, almost loses it. Nelson nice for a layup, and that's door. no good. She'll get fouled. Nice open look at a backdoor layup there. Barely makes it, but Ashley Nelson's first shot is good. Nelson's second attempt. This will make it a six point game. If she can capitalize, she does. Darkie's going to come in for O'Dowd. 
for the Monarchs. And Worley will inbound the ball. Full court pressure by Maddie Willett. That would be called a foul on Allie Kalaw. They're going to call her for a push. So here we go. The Miller North Mustangs work the ball around now. So they are down by six. Wild pass, but it's retrieved by the Mustangs. Inside pass. There will be a foul. Not quite sure about that call. It looked like Ashley Nelson had a hand straight up in the air, but they'll call it nonetheless. So Gabby Grasso will go to line for two. Great defense there by Imadargi. You know, you almost had an open three-point attempt, and Imadargi closed the gap there and really closed up their options. O'Dowd coming back in. That's no good on the second attempt. It'll be stolen by the Mustangs after Dargie had the rebound. A three attempt there is no good. It'll be Miller North ball. Presentation the ball. Great defense being played by the Monarchs. It's number 11, Kelly Lane. They work the ball around. Great defense being played by the Monarchs here early on. Four minutes left to go here in the third quarter. It's 34-28, Monarchs up. Nice Looking drive into back the- door and they'll call it again. That's gonna be another foul. This one will be at number 34, Priscilla O'Dowd. Going to the line will be number 13, Holly Hill. The first one's good and makes it a five point game. Rachel Meisinger going in for Priscilla O'Dowd. The second attempt at the free throw is also good. This game now just a two possession game. Hard full court pressure by Miller North. Ali Kalaw goes wide up. open. A beautiful layup. The two is good by Kalaw. They played over pressure there. Good shot there for Miller North. Good job, Monarch offense, breaking through this hard Miller press. Wide open, Katie Oswald, just straight down the middle, broke through Miller North, no problem. Oswald uses her left there, and she's a right-handed basketball player as Mustangs bring it back up. It's a six-point game yet again in Monarch favor. They worked the ball around yet again. Thought about a three, doesn't take it. Hill. Draws the foul on Meisinger. It looks like they'll call it a foul for running into Rachel, but I did see some contact there going up on the shot. So overall, good call by the refs. This is the second straight time we'll see Hill at the line, and the first attempt is good as she puts that one in. Gets the friendly bounce. And Kyle, quick comment on that call. One of the things that they started doing to prevent concussions and just overall injuries of players is they're pretty much never going to call a charge. Everything's going to be called a block to prevent you from getting in the way of any progression towards the basket and risking just someone ramming into you, just trying to eliminate on any possible injury risks. That's the evolution of basketball. Rules constantly changing, the way the game's called constantly changing every day. On different all injuries. levels, high school, college, NBA, we see it all the time. And different injuries becoming more prevalent. We hear a lot about concussions, and they want to do anything they can to prevent high school athletes from ruining their future just from one injury. Great defense by the Mustangs. Great shot, excuse me, pass block there. In transition, you slow things down a little. Three-point attempt. 
And that that one's no good. No good. We get the unfriendly bounce, and Willie goes down. It'll be a push. Wow, what a call. That'll be on number 24 for the Mustangs, Gabby Grosso. Millinor stands on their feet, not happy about that call at all. That was one of those controversial calls that we'll see today. So Willett will bring it up for the Monarchs. 2.30 left here to go in the third quarter. It's 38-34, the Monarchs up by two possessions. Dargie's gonna drive it by herself. She's gonna get fouled. No good on the attempt. She'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's the great thing that you'll see about Emma Dargie. You know, she's a multi-sport athlete. She also plays softball and played varsity. And got a lot of playing time at third base in states this year. Just all around great athlete. As we just saw from her drive there to the basket, she's committed. That first one is good for the left-hander. The second attempt is no good. A little short there, Miller North in transition. Great shot attempt there, and that'll be good. Miller North bringing it within three. Nice jump stop there into a front layup. Great move. Dargie with a great move. Some very hard Miller defense. But Dargie with a nice crossover. She's going to drive it in. And that layup no good. They're going to call foul on the Mustangs. And that will be called on the floor. Monarchs will remain in possession. Less than two minutes left to go. Madargi inbounding. Nice move there. Inbound to Rachel Meisinger. Nice left-handed layup. Pulls the Monarchs up 41 to a Miller North 36 with 145 left in the third quarter. Having some issues here with the with the scoreboard. Having a hard time getting the clock to start. They'll call the play dead and inbound the ball. The technical difficulties just don't stop, Daniel. Absolutely not. With changing technology comes growing issues. Ball around and they almost lose it. They do lose it. Maddie Willett. Pass a little bit too quick there. Dargie will bring it up. Dargie's been quite the star here in the second half. There's Willett. Hannah Fulton with the ball. Looking for Austin. Drives drive. down low. She'll drive in for the left handed layup, and that is good. Add on another two for the Monarchs, and they're up by seven. Miller North in rapid transition here. They'll call a foul. She'll be shooting two. Callie Lane will go to the line. First one is good, makes it a six point game. Substitution for the Monarchs, Brooke Hubert in for Ali Kalaw. The second attempt also good. This will be a five point game now, 43 38, a minute two left to go in the third. Monarchs looking to slow things down here on offense. Miller not too happy with that. Nice screen there by Rachel Meisinger up high. Kick out to Maddie Willett for three. That's no good. Nice rebound by Rachel Meisinger. Anna Fulton with the ball. Finds the Dargi looking for a drive down the middle. Can't break this Miller North defense. And, and right when I say that, right what a move. Layup. What a move. I was just commenting on Miller North's defense. Excellent defense until Dargi found a way to get past. She has got all the moves under her sleeve. I worked the ball around. There's a drive for a in. jump shot. She'll lose the ball, and they'll call a foul. I saw a travel there, but she'll be going to the line for two. That'll be called on Brooke Hubert. That is her first foul. That was a team sixth here, and they 
Mustangs are one away from being sent into the bonus. 17 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Some physical play as Brooke Huber falls down. Another Brooke Huber foul. It'll be a one and one now as they send the Mustangs into the bonus. A very physical basketball by Miller North. Looks like we had some holding on Brooke Hubert. Just all around, you know, at this close of a game, this late in the game, anything could happen. Dargy bringing it up. Ten seconds left to go in the third. Dargy with a nice crossover. She'll drive. A shot up. No good. Ball almost travels out. That's the end of the third quarter, folks. 45 to 38. Monarchs up by seven as we have eight minutes left to play here in this women's high school basketball. And here we go with the traditional band dance. Monarchs talking things over and eight minutes to go, just trying to hold on to this lead. Monarchs have had a lot of success this year. Miller North has struggled, but Miller North has a young team, only one senior on the team and five freshmen. The experience is not there, but this is a team that in two, three years could be a threat in Nebraska high school basketball. Absolutely, we'll be looking out for the Vikings. The Mustangs, Mustangs, rather. I'm not sure Excuse why. Excuse my I just broadcasting said partner as he <laughs> mixed up Miller North with Omaha North. It's I'm the sorry. Mustangs. I'm sorry about that. Mustangs. That's. I'm not going to hear the end of that one. Ow, you're just a regular Brent Musburger, aren't you? <laughs> so the Miller North working the ball around to start the fourth quarter. Great drive by Holly Hild. That makes it a five-point game. Mustangs need to be uh, need to be careful of how many steps they take to the, towards the basket. They're allowed two and a half steps in their drive to the basket. I'm seeing three to four steps, so that's something to keep an eye on. Ashley Nelson trying to find someone or drive in. Great defense right now. A five-second violation on Nelson. Wow. Great defense by the Mustangs. I'm not the Vikings. <laughs> not the Vikings. Some problems going on here between the coaches and the refs. Looks like the refs were not physically counting out five seconds, so the refs were not, excuse me, the coaches were unable to call a timeout before a five second violation could be called. Shooting one and one. This will be Gabby Grosso as Miller gets in there for another foul. The team eighth here in this half. A 14th of the game. It's been a physical game. Another free throw attempt. That one's no good. It'll make it a four point game though. Great Just rebound. Two positions. By Priscilla Dowd. Sorry, Kyle. Willett works it around to Oswald. She'll drive. And she's Great good. Move. Going to the line for one more. And one for Katie Oswald. Great move. Right-handed straight down the middle. In for the Monarchs. Imodargi going in for Ashley Nelson. Oswald makes the three-point play happen. It's a 48 to 41 point game now. Monarchs up by seven now. Monarchs.
Monarchs coming out with a 2-3 zone. Some great ball, ball movement here by Miller North. Swinging outside around three-point line, trying to break this hard Monarch defense. Monarchs doing a great job holding the zone. Looks like they're running. Honestly, Kyle, I'm not quite sure what kind of zone they're running. They seem to be all over the place, kind of between a 2-3. Holly no held on foul. a questionable call there. I, I saw another travel there. I saw a travel as well. They'll call that on Priscilla Dowd. I saw her hand straight up, but can't argue with the ref's call. There's been quite a few questionable calls here so far today, but. You know, Kyle, that, that, that'll come with pretty much any basketball game, you know. It's hard for everybody to be on the same page. There's some calls that aren't gonna go well, but it's, it's imperative for any team to not focus on what they would think to be bad calls, because they, they need to focus on what's going on right then. Olivia Grasso comes back on for the Mustangs. Emma Dargi's going to bring it up. Emma Dargi has been the star of the second half so far. Dargi's going to drive it by herself, and that is good. No answer to Emma Dargis, or Dargi so far. She's on fire tonight, just dominating these layups, just driving right down the lane. You cannot stop her. Great zone pressure by the Monarchs again. Emma Dargi's been like a fat kid at a chocolate factory, unstoppable. <laughs> Are you calling him a fat? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. He'll work the ball around even more. No answer to this Monarch defense. Straight up with it, no good. That and is no Rachel good. Meisinger with the rebound. Kayla with the ball now. She'll find Willett. Wow, another foul. That's the ninth. The Monarchs are one away from sending the Mustangs into the double bonus. Fifty to forty-three. Five minutes left. Mustangs down. The shot three there, pointer. a three is no good. Great defense again there, Daniel. Great rebound by a combination of Rachel Meisinger and Ashley Meisinger. Katie Oswald to drive. They're going to call a foul. That'll send the Monarchs into the bonus. Monarchs holding a seven point lead right now. Oswald, no good on that one and one attempt. The North needs to find an answer. Circuit shot, no good. Looking for a travel there, but I don't see it. With four and a half left, it's a seven point game, and the Monarchs just need to stay composed and keep this lead. She'll take the pick. Great setup there. Nelson will drive. Great floater, but that's no good. As Miller North brings it back up. The drive by Hill, that's no good. They're gonna call a foul. That's Rachel Meisinger's third personal foul, I believe. Team 11th. That's her second foul. Second foul, rather. I, I have no, no answer for these, these travel calls, I mean, you get two and a half shot, two and a half steps, excuse me, towards the basket on your drive, and I'm seeing four to five steps. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. 
Five point game, the Monarchs will bring it back up. Pressure being set by Miller North. They lose the ball, it's gonna go back to Miller North. Monarchs have got to slow down. Now I like that point, the Monarchs do need to slow down. They have the lead. Best Absolutely. way to keep it is to just keep a composed and slow offense. Holly Hild has been pretty automatic at the line so far today. She'll go to line for two. The second attempt is also good. It makes it a one possession game now. Mustangs inching in closer and closer. Monarchs have got to slow things down, just shave time off this clock wherever possible. That's going to be out on the Monarchs. That has and got Miller to be North a kick ball. The ball back with 3.30 that, that, left. That has got to be a, either kick or off on Miller North. That is, that is an unbelievable call right there, Kyle. That wow. is unbelievable. Monarchs right now shooting themselves in the foot. And there's another travel right there, no call. Three-pointers up, no good. Great rebound by Rachel Meisinger. Monarchs have got to hold on to the ball. They Miller. have so much going against them right now. Miller North is playing great defense here in this fourth quarter. Some of the best defense I think they've played all game. Coach Uber going to try to Monarchs. talk to the ref about this call. This is unreal right now. Monarchs will be calling a full timeout, give a chance to regroup and kind of recover from these calls. You know, this could kill a team's motivation. Monarchs have got to hold on. They have a three-point lead, 3-10 left in the game. Regardless of the calls, though, Miller North has played excellent defense here in the fourth quarter. They've been all over the Monarch offense, and there's no answer. Well, the answer seems to be a Madargi from what we've seen second half. You know, we have seen a lot from her going in just simple drives. You know, those two-point layups, they add up quickly. She's easily had 10 points simply off of layups, simply off of drives. She has definitely been the star in the She's been the game changer here in the second half. Absolutely. But with 3.11 left, it's 50 to 47. The Monarchs up just by three. And they, they gotta come away with some points here on this drive. You know, it's hard because we've, what we've seen a lot is, you know, Miller North has all these opportunities to take advantage of these turnovers or these calls. And they have got to be able to capitalize on their three point shots. They've missed four shots in a row from the three-point line, and that's just unacceptable. So the girls are going to get it back out there. Monarchs, no Dargy, but Kalaw back out there. Kalaw also been a difference maker so far in this game for the Monarchs. Ali Kalaw being the leading scorer simply off of three-point shots. We'll work it back around. I like this slow offense they're bringing now. Kalaw on the wing, she'll find Willett. Oswald's got to watch herself. She doesn't want to get the five-second call. Refs now physically counting out these five seconds. That'll definitely help the coaches be able to call a timeout when needed. Ooh, almost a travel there, but Fulton keeps her foot down. Fulton, a very strong all-around player. Reach That'll be there. called reach. Katie Oswald's going to go to the line for a one and one. Last time she couldn't convert, this time looking to come away with some points. And for Anna Fulton, game changer Emma Dargi. Oswald puts the first one in, this makes it a two possession game. Oswald now to shoot the second one. 2.30 left, 51 to 47. Oswald second attempt, no good, but it's still a four point game. Exactly what the Monarchs needed with some points. Wide open, three point shot, but she doesn't take it. Wild pass, it'll be Monarch ball. 
Passing it straight to Mr. Ryan, our athletic director out there. I don't believe he's playing today. I, I don't think so. I think he's going to sit this one out. Hard pressure, full court by Miller North. Great defense there. And she finishes with a nice jump stop. That's number 11, Kaylee Lane. That was a great play there by Miller North. Patience definitely pays off, as we just saw. Oswald brings it up. Now looking to slow it down. Great job by Katie Oswald, making some good moves there. Minute 45 left. The Monarchs have got to stay composed. This is a mental game just as much as it's a physical game. I see some jersey holding out here on Ashley Nelson. Oh! oh. Oswald. Oh my goodness. A scary fall Oswald takes. They have got to watch that. Katie Oswald a little shaken up there. She has got, they, you cannot do that to anybody on the court, especially somebody wearing a concussion band around their head. Oswald had missed a few games earlier this year thanks to concussion, so. I'm very surprised I wasn't called flagrant. She, she needs to be subbed out. She's signaling to the coaches. They'll be Oswald's sending an alley K-Law. Second attempt is no good. Next dead ball, we'll see Katie Oswald probably. Wow, Katie Oswald making a great play after being shaken up. She makes a great defensive play. Katie Oswald says, hit me one more time, but I'm just going to take the ball from you. Great job by Katie Oswald. Referee's checking on her. She's clearly shaken up. So Oswald is going to go ahead and sit the rest of this one out. A little shaken up after that last play. But she made a great defensive play on the other end, and Monarchs now going to line 4-2 after the reach in. And we'll see if Nelson can convert. Here in the double bonus, a minute 30 left. It's a two-point game. Nelson's good on the first. Nelson, no good on the second, but it's a three-point game. Miller North needs to answer quickly here. Long two attempt, no good. Dargy with the rebound, she'll bring it up. There it is, contact, that'll be called Miller North. We saw some of that earlier, but they called it this time. Nelson going to line for two. Nelson, no good on the first one, with a minute of three left. The second one is good, it makes it a four point game, two possessions now. Middle of North would be calling a, excuse me, Papillion of this will be calling a full timeout. Minute one left to go here in the game. It's 53-49. The Monarchs hold a very small lead. And holy cow, Kyle, Katie Oswald looks like she'll be checking in after this full timeout. Very tough right here. She took a pretty nasty foul. Already just coming back after a pretty serious concussion that had her out for a few weeks. Wearing a concussion band around her head. Took a pretty hard fall and a hit to the head. Was a little shaken up, feeling a little sick, but she just tapped in on the table, so it looks like she'll be going back in to finish out this last minute of the game. Her defensive play is what's key to this Monarch lead right now, so they're going to need her to keep playing good defense.
back on the floor here with a minute one left. Oswald is back on. Mustangs will bring it up. They're gonna call foul, and Miller North will go to the line for two. And there we see yet another call by the referees. They'll be called, they'll be calling that on Ali Kalo. That'll be her fourth foul, putting her in serious foul trouble. Just unbelievable. First one's good for Gabby Grasso, and she'll shoot a second. Priscilla O'Dell will be subbing in for Ashley Nelson for the Monarchs. Second one's good, it makes it a two point game with 50 seconds left. Some serious Kalos. contact here from Miller North on the Monarchs. Monarchs will be calling a timeout. Perfectly timed to timeout there as Monarchs were losing time. They have to get over the half court line in 10 seconds. They were reaching 10. Very quickly too. Monarchs calling a full timeout, giving them more time to regroup. 40 seconds left in the game. Forty seconds left to go. The Monarchs hold a two-point lead. For the Monarchs, good defense and slow offense. That's what's going to keep this lead for the Mustangs. Better defense and better offense is what will help them come back. Found the ball, great defense already for the Mustangs. Oswald can bring it up. It'll be a foul on the Mustangs, and Oswald will go to the line for two. Monarch student section poking some fun at the Miller North parent section. They wanted a carry called on that. Looked like Kitty Oswald kind of fumbled with the ball a little bit. You know, she didn't take an additional step in between dribbles. First attempt is good, makes it a three-point game. Attempt number two now. Oswald is one for two. It's a three-point game. Mustangs will call a timeout. Miller North calling a full timeout. Three-point game with 30 seconds left. Thirty-two seconds left in the game. We haven't seen a whole lot of three-pointers by the Mustangs today, so a three-point lead is key for the Monarchs right now. The Mustangs have played very physical here the fourth quarter. They gotta keep that physicality up, keep playing tough. This is a well-played basketball game by both squads. These last 30 seconds are gonna say a lot about this team's mental and physical well-being. The 
Mustangs to inbound the ball here at the half court line. Miller North with the ball now. Three pointer is up. Oh. No good. Great they shot. They got a second attempt. chance at this. They are frantically looking for Great that. Great defense Allie. and number 10. That'll be Ali Manley who loses the ball for the Mustangs. And the Monarchs have the ball back with 17 seconds left. A giant cluster down here. Oswald. Nice, easy to inbound. Get. Looks like could, there could have been a foul. They'll foul her. Hard. Unnecessary foul there. Well, it's an intentional foul. They're sent to the line to stop the clock. It was very necessary. The foul itself was necessary. The intensity and roughness of the foul was not. Agreeable. Well, Oswald go to the line for two. She puts the first one in. Emma Darg in for the Monarchs, going in for Katie Oswald. Those five points might have put this game out of reach. 13 seconds left. Mustangs need a quick three-pointer. Booking it down the court. That two is good. That puts this game somewhat within reach if they can get the ball back within six seconds. They need a pretty intense turnover. Anything can happen. Absolutely, they got one minute to think of what they want to do. Meanwhile, Monarchs over here in their huddle probably talking about you know, what, what they can do to stop the ball from getting into Miller North hands because as soon as the ball gets into Mustang, not Viking, Mustang hands, they have six and or less seconds to make a three-pointer happen and send us into overtime. Monarchs have to play smart here on this next inbound. And you know Miller North is going to be playing in very intense defense to try to force the Monarchs to turn the ball over before they can even get it in bounds. on the inbound. That Mustangs just called their last timeout. They have zero left. This is very, very interesting here. Oswald to get fouled quickly. They want a chance at this ball. Katie Oswald can put one in. That could be the game. Oswald puts the first one in. It's there a it four is. point game with five seconds left. That might have just been it. Calling for no foul, pulling all their players off the line. Oswald's good on both. This game might be over. Four seconds left. Three, two, one, they're gonna just throw it up. The game is over. And the Monarch women win 58 to 53. Overcoming some very difficult calls here. And some very poor calls and just all around intense Mustang defense. Monarchs did a great job of pulling this out. Miller North played very, very great defense in the fourth quarter. Played hard, but it wasn't enough to put the Monarchs away. Papillion adds another win to that and record. Monarchs answered with a very hard offense by Emma Dargi. Coach is coming by, shaking me and my partner Kyle's hands. Awesome stuff. You know, we saw in the second half a lot from Emma Dargi answering to this hard Miller North defense. So all around, great job by both teams. And folks, we're 20 minutes away from bringing you the boys basketball game as the Monarchs will take on the Miller North Mustangs. Meet us back here in 20 minutes for the full game instead of just the second half. Thanks for joining. Rich. I'm Kyle Cephas. We'll be back.